so today I'm going to talk about CP and CPT invariance so first of all I would like to talk about introduction to CP uh, invariance or the CP symmetry regarding its detail I will talk about in the last section but here I will briefly talk about it right so this CP invariance it was proposed in 1957 it was proposed in 1957 by Blake Landau right it's a combination of it's a combination of combination of first of all C symmetry means charge conjugation and P symmetry means parity means parity so if we apply first of all if we apply parity operator on some state having momentum P it changes momentum to minus p that's what will happen when we apply parity operation and uh, when we apply charge conjugation it changes particle to anti particle right that's what will happen particle right so that means if we talk about collectively CP operation so that means thus CP operation thus CP operation acting on a particle acting on a particle state of momentum P momentum P will then give an will then give an antiparticle antiparticle state with momentum minus p right so we will get an anti particle but whose momentum state will be minus p right so that's what will happen when we do cp operation so this is a brief introduction to cp invariance or the cp symmetry now in the next i i, uh, I will talk about the cp symmetry sorry cpt symmetry so next is the cpt symmetry or CPT the CP symmetry the two operations are acting simultaneously and here the three operations will act simultaneously right symmetry means charge time reversal symmetry 